We got a big old do not disturb sign outside of our house every Sunday. And why? Well, I'll tell you about it in this week's Soul Food. There's nothing I like better when I go on a trip and I'm staying in a hotel than putting on that do not disturb card. Yeah. It to me is heaven. I don't even like people cleaning my room. I can do it myself. I just want to not be disturbed. And uh, cause I just need rest and relaxation when I'm kind of on vacation mode. And what we've been noticing kind of as a family is, you know, we moved to Florida and it's definitely a smaller town. We drive less. Our lives in some ways are simpler for sure. Uh, we don't have as many friends, so I don't have as many social engagements. But, um, you know, it was still was kind of feeling, we were feeling frazzled as a family, you know, and just tired. And by the time the weekend was over, I remember just feeling drained. And I thought something's not right with this picture because usually after a weekend, you get extra rest. You should feel like ready for the week ahead or at least in an ideal world, right? So we went to this conference in January and this woman who was speaking throughout the conference kind of challenged us to practice Sabbath. And, you know, we hear about it in the Bible, right? In Genesis, you know, God created the world and then he took a day for rest. And so if it's good enough for the big guy, maybe it's good enough for me. And maybe there's some wisdom to that. And there are, you know, like in the Jewish culture, there's some communities that still really practice Sabbath. It's holy. And I think, you know, in the Christian faith, we still go to church maybe on Sunday, but it's not the same, you know? And it's interesting here in the South, more stores are closed on Sundays than they were up in Chicago. Like we could always go shopping or do whatever we wanted to, but here it does seem like things really slow down on Sunday. So when we came back from this conference, I was like, Michael, we should just challenge our family. Like, let's just try it, you know? And just on a Sunday, let's do nothing. Let's have nothing on the books. Let's never work, you know, no emails, no work stuff. And even for me, I don't want to be cooking. I don't want to be cleaning, okay? Because I do so much of that throughout the week. I just want a break. And let's just see if, you know, on Monday we feel better, you know, if we keep practicing this. So we started implementing probably in the end of January. And so it's been several months. And I have to tell you, it is game changing. Like we love it. Um, even my kids are starting to love it um, because there is something about rest that's so important for us. You know, there's this rhythm to life, activity, activity, but then also rest. So really on Sundays, you know, we get up, we do go to church. Now Sunday, when our kids are a little bit older, we do want to try going to church on Saturday night so that we really have a clean slate on Sunday. But right now they can't stay up that late. So we do go to church, but we go to the later church. So we kind of all sleep in to the best of our abilities. And, um, and then we just kind of relax. So Michael and I will read, we make waffles. So I make a huge batch of waffle um, batter the day before so that it's all ready to go. I don't have to prep anything and we'll eat waffles. You know, the kids will play outside. Sometimes they'll watch a little screen time, whatever. But the whole point is we don't have anything on the, on the schedule in that morning time. Then we go to church, we come back, we eat lunch, and then Paloma goes down for her nap. And then Griffin has to take a nap or at least rest for an hour. And Michael and I get to do that too, which is just heavenly. Um, so we can just kind of chill. Then after that time, we just kind of decide what we want to do. So sometimes we've watched a Star Wars episode. Sometimes we've gone for a hike in the forest. Other times we've gone to the beach. Um, but the whole point is there's nothing we have to do and there is no work. So it really has been amazing to just practice this art of rest, which I think is hugely important. And even Griffin is like, is today Sabbath? Like he's looking forward to it. And I think as he gets older, it's just gonna become more and more important because you know how it is when you've got kids, it's like all of a sudden they're in soccer, then they're in baseball, then they might, you know, Paloma might be in dance or whatever, you know, and just activity after activity, there's birthday parties, there's sleepovers, or this, or that. But luckily Sunday still seems to kind of be sacred and a lot of those types of activities don't fall on Sunday. So I think, especially as they get into like teen years, having a Sabbath is gonna be so huge for them because kids need extra rest. And now I would love to hear from you. Do you practice the Sabbath? Have you ever heard of this concept? Um, do you practice any kind of regular rest as a family? And just share your experiences with me in the comments below. One of my passions is to replace some of the typical foods that people like to give kids, like goldfish, pretzels, teething biscuits, and make them healthy, okay? Because this isn't about deprivation. This isn't about making our kids eat boiled chicken and steamed broccoli. This is about them being part of the world, but in a way that's healthier. So I've just put up a new recipe. I'm super excited about it. It's for healthy gummy bears, okay? My kids saw these at the store. They wanted them, but the real ones are kind of nasty, and there's some bad ingredients. So I'm like, I think I can make these. So I found a mold 
mold of these cute little bears. I mixed up some juices, some raw honey, and of course I used one of my favorite products, Vital Proteins Gelatin. This is great for your hair, skin, and nails, for your digestive system, for balanced blood sugar levels. Um, and so they're yummy, they're delicious. My kids love them. It's a fun recipe to make. So I have a link in the video description below. And also right now, through the end of June, we're doing a special with Vital Proteins. Mama Natural viewers will get 20% off of their order plus free shipping in the US. All you have to do at checkout is use the coupon code Mama Natural. Since we're talking about easy Sabbath meals, I wanted to show you kind of what that looks like. Okay, here are the ingredients for a big batch of waffle batter. So I'm gonna blend this up. If you use stevia, you can add some actually to your batter and as a result, your kids don't need as much syrup. So here it is, we serve it with butter and either raw honey or maple syrup. So that's a really easy breakfast and you don't have to serve it with bacon or eggs or anything else because it's got so much protein in this recipe. Okay, here is our Sabbath lunch. Now it's a little bit more elaborate because it is Father's Day today, but it's still gonna be very easy. So I've got some leftover pasta, this spring mix, which has already been washed and cut up for me, um, some cheese, which I'm gonna put on these burgers, and then some cut up watermelon. Okay, so we just got back from the spring, so we're gonna do a quick Sabbath dinner. So I'm gonna finish off this lettuce from lunch. Uh, and then these are pizza crusts, which we make in bulk. So I think there's like five pizza crusts in here, but these are cauliflower crease pizza crusts. They are delicious. And I love them because all I gotta add now are just a couple garnishes. So like peppers and onion and then black olives. And I put it in the toaster oven and they're ready in like 20 minutes. It's delicious. Look at me. You like it here? Dude, you are awesome. You are amazing. Watch out, you're gonna crash. you're doing. Can you pour some on my hand? Thanks so much for tuning in to this week's Soul Food. Again, I would love to hear from you. Do you practice Sabbath? Do you practice times of rest as a family? Share with me in the comments below. And thanks as always for tuning in.